Or try reaching like you Dare you. Yeah, go on, you're trying to reach. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> I got this is really Good morning guys. We are currently in Wales. Got here yesterday evening and the weather has been beautiful. Basically, we are on a little trip with my parents. We're gonna go mushroom picking, like mushroom foraging. And to be honest, sounds like my kind of <laughs> idea of fun. <laughs> no, legit though. We're gonna go foraging for like three hours. We can bring the dog with us. At the end of it, we get like a meal cooked for us with all the mushrooms. I love mushrooms, so I'm kind of excited, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, we're in this beautiful little cottage in the middle of nowhere, so stunning. Yeah, it's just really nice to get away. It's super peaceful and picturesque, although the sheep, you guys, never had anything like it. I'm in a rush right now though. Who goes there? <laughs> Seven days. <laughs> if you're wondering, why the footage looks so nice. I'm currently using a new camera, which I'll tell you guys a bit more about <laughs> later on, but I've shot quite a few photos on this as well, and it's a very special camera, so I will talk to you guys about it a little bit later on. This vlog is sponsored by Fujifilm. I can't believe I'm saying that. That's wild to me. I think we need to go, so I'm gonna hurry up, do my makeup, and then chat to you later. Also, me and Bay have got t-shirts <laughs> he's got one as well and them two don't know i can't wait to get the reaction hopefully i managed to get it on camera <laughs> oh how do we get out like this <laughs> come on Tash. okay you got mushroom yeah have you yeah. <laughs> Come on, Richard. <laughs> you could almost say this morning we're not ready to be a fun guy. Oh. Quite as characteristic as it's the classic toadstool. I've got quite a few different ones because I... That's a, um, one of these baby leads. Mm -hmm. So, turns out mum's trying to poison us. <laughs> Picking potentially fatal mushrooms. Got to keep an eye on her. Trying to poison us. I don't know, let me try. <laughs> made a new bestie. <laughs> Looks like an oyster. Yeah. <laughs> Lost it. The dog eats it. <laughs> I've just tried the mushroom called a, rip, a witch's egg and you cut it open and it's got some slimy stuff inside it and a little bit in the middle. It literally tasted like a hazelnut. Insane. 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 <laughs> Insane. 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 Just trying to get me a bag of mushrooms on my leg. Yeah. arrived at the lunch spot I believe so we are going to head in and Daniel's gonna cook up some mushrooms for us I'm actually so excited to try these oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Uh, anyway, yes. Um, So we are back from mushroom foraging. I hope I managed to get some cute footage for you. It was awesome. It did go on for quite a while though. We were there from like quarter to 10 till about half four by the time we were done. So we did like three hours in the forest, picking mushrooms, learning about them. The guy who organizes it, his name's Daniel. We went back to his house. It's this amazing farmhouse. We had like a mushroom soup. Oh. It was so delicious um, and then a pasta kind of bake with mushrooms in and salad and then dessert the dessert so good it was crumble with different types of fruit in it and we had homemade ginger and rhubarb ice cream I think it's the best ice cream I've ever had honestly it was insane at the end there you would have seen me like trying different mushrooms and it's so annoying because all the ones I tried on camera I didn't love but all the other ones that that I didn't try on camera were delicious. And those were the ones that we'd actually picked. There's so many different types. There's so many that I didn't even know existed. We are back home now. We are all exhausted. I want to do a bit of crocheting whilst I'm here because I just thought, oh, how cute. I seen a girl, I can't remember, Belina maybe? I'll link her YouTube and her Instagram down below. She doesn't just do crochet, like her content's amazing anyway, but she does some cute crochet things. And I seen her do some crochet covers for her AirPod Maxes. So I'm gonna have a go whilst we have a little downtime, maybe a little wine. I don't know though, I had like a glass and a half of wine yesterday and I couldn't sleep all night, but I don't know if it was the wine or the heat. I found a yarn that quite matches, I think it could look quite nice. And I've got a new needle. This is another new brand that I haven't tried before, so I'm gonna give this one a go. See if I enjoy or not and let you guys know. Ow. That was such a nice weekend away. Honestly, if you guys are into mushrooms, I know it's very niche, 100% recommend it. The weekend overall was so nice. It was just really good to spend some time with family. And now we're back home. I thought I'd take a minute to talk to you guys about the camera that I'm using at the moment because I love this camera, not only for videography, but also for pictures. It is, dare I say it, revolutionary. <laughs> so I'm using the Fujifilm X-S20. There's just so many amazing things about it, but the particular feature that I love so much is the the film settings mode there's a little nozzle is that even the right word like a little notch on the top that you twist and there are 19 different film simulation modes that basically imitate old school film or analog kind of cameras so you get that kind of vintage aesthetic without having to like edit or put any work in afterwards you can just literally switch it to whatever setting you like the look of and not only can you take photos like that but you can also vlog like that as well i'm currently using the oh god i can never remember what's it called now the nostalgic negative i think that's my favorite setting um for photos and i'm loving it for video as well it just looks so good when it comes to editing a lot of the time i'll like color grade my videos but you don't have to do that because the settings are already just there for you to use and upload straight away, which makes things so much quicker and easier if you create a lot of content because basically it is just a shoot and upload kind of situation. There's no labor after the point of shooting the content. You can literally just upload it because it looks that good. I've also created some other content with this camera for Instagram and TikTok, which I'll leave linked down below. I did a little at home self shoot as well and the pictures came out amazing. So yeah, it's just a super exciting camera. It's also such a great size. Like my other camera that I use is huge. This one is like that lovely kind of in-between size where it doesn't feel super bulky or heavy or kind of awkward to vlog with. 
you can still change the lenses so you can have loads of different looks. I'm a bit of a sucker for the aesthetics of a camera as well and this one looks like an old film camera. It, it could definitely pass as a film camera and I just love that. I know it's not important but I just love the attention to detail and I just think it's beautiful but yeah I thought I would vlog with it so you guys could see for yourselves firsthand how the footage looks none of this footage will be edited like color wise or anything like that this is how it's coming straight off the camera let me know what you guys think of it if any of you guys are content creators or just kind of film slash analog um nerds a little bit like me it's definitely worth checking this camera out it just takes all the hard work out like I have film cameras I've got two I love them but the thing I love about this camera is obviously when you kind of combine elements of a digital camera and then have those film settings you can see how the photo is going to turn out before before you take it whereas with a film camera you just don't know how the pictures are going to turn out until you get them developed and I love having that kind of element of control with this camera and still having that look that I desire from like a film or analog kind of camera so yeah it also has a flip out screen like a fully flip out screen which if you vlog if you create content and you do it on your own you guys know how great a flip out screen is okay anyone that's making a camera in 2023 without a flip out screen what are you doing that's another great thing about this camera i'm probably gonna have to purchase one when i have to give this one back because i'm that invested like genuinely i mean fujifilm if you just want to send me one for free like i'll take it i'll take it and i'll use it a lot <laughs> in all seriousness I'm very much considering purchasing one because it's just that good you've got a digital camera you can turn it into a film camera and you can also use it to vlog so it's like three cameras in one and it's the only thing you have to carry and it's such a good size it is pretty much perfect I said it is pretty much perfect <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog we've got some more cozy fun stuff that we're doing today before we went to wales i stubbed my toe my little pinky toe not the rest of my foot just the pinky into the kitchen cupboard when i tell you i was limping for like three days straight and then i had to go to wales and i drove and then we walked for three hours foraging my toe is still not recovered so basically i'm not able to run which is really sad because it yeah it's just a sad situation um and i've just been avoiding the gym because putting my feet into shoes or putting pressure on that toe is not feeling great. So we're going to do some cosy activities, continue the theme of the vlog. We're going to head to the History Museum, which I'm super excited about because I haven't been to, I don't think I've been to, I've been to an art gallery in Manchester, like the main one in the city centre, but I've never been to a museum here. And it is that time of year now where it's like a little bit more cosy. You don't want to be outside as much, but you still want to do cute stuff. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get ready for that. I'm kind of sort of half dressed as the Cookie Monster today, but I'm kind of here for it. I just need to figure out the rest of my outfit because this isn't really working for me. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick. You excited? Yes. Ready to go? Yes. Okay, I think I've settled on an outfit. God, it doesn't look, it's a little, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a bit of a rogue outfit, but I think it's cute. Although I don't think it looks as good on camera, which is kind of annoying. Also, I did iron this steamed it anyway but it just didn't really do much uh, i've got some jewelry pieces on i guess i'll start with those my oh you can get a look at the camera here as well how beautiful is this camera like how aesthetically pleasing is that it just look it's just not that it matters but cool girl vibes like it girl vibes we're here for it <laughs> oh and the lens i'm using is the 18 to 55 which is a really good range for like vlogging and photography sorry i'm so out of breath because i came up the stairs but outfit the big gold hoops are from amazon i think they're so cool and i need to find a pair like this in silver so if anyone knows where i can get silver earrings like this please let me know this is pandora this chain is pandora but the pendant is actually years old it was my grandma's we got it on a trip to egypt that my mum and me and my grandparents all went on when i was in like year eight and my top i believe is from asos it's just a long sleeve crop this cardigan the cookie monster vibes it's beautiful and it's so warm kind of perfect for this weather but this is from weekday one of my all-time favorite brands i love how my nails just go with all of it i got my nails done recently i get builder gel which is a new thing for me but i'm loving it so far my skirt randomly i came across it and it was on sale and it's a Maison Margiela, this like cargo kind of ripped 
effect. I love it and I always get compliments when I wear it. Again, it looks better in real life and I did try to steam it but it just didn't work. Um, and then my boots, these boots from H&M. That's my outfit, nice and cozy and warm. Haven't decided on a bag yet, but yeah, ready to go. My boyfriend's just taking the dog out kindly, so I'm just waiting for him to get back and then we're gonna head. Thank you. Oh, blimey, it's a bit chilly, isn't it? Oh, blimey. <laughs> oh, it's about to be winter again. in London for a minute there. We're home! Sorry I didn't film that much in the museum. Obviously it's a Saturday so it was really busy but we didn't think of that. Unfortunately we didn't get to see the dinosaurs so we're gonna have to go back for that one. We stopped on the way back and got a little prep for a little snacky doo -da. No I'm joking, that's disgusting. <laughs> Got a snacky doodle. I got the sunshine doll soup. It is to die for. It's literally delicious. So yeah, we just gonna have a little snack and then, right, we got this. When it was really, really hot, we couldn't sleep in the same room because it was just boiling. So Josh got this. Josh. <laughs> so Joshua got this. <laughs> Isn't it so weird when Why I say you your say name? My name? Don't ever say my name, that's so weird. Why? Joshua got this. So Joshua got this. <laughs> As I was saying, Joshua got that airbed right there. Basically, when it was like super hot, I look ginormous on this. It's just the angle, I promise. <laughs> we couldn't share a bed, we couldn't sleep in the same room, it was just way too hot. We've only got a double bed, we need to get a bigger bed. So if any brands wanna collab on like a mattress or a bed frame, just let me know. Yeah, basically Joshua bought an airbed to sleep on. Lately, we've like added it onto the end of the sofa and it just makes this huge like sofa bed thing that you can chill on. So I think we're gonna do that tonight and just watch maybe like another horror movie. No. Are you for real? It just doesn't get old, does it? Yeah, so we'll probably do that tonight and get all cozy and get all the lights on, get some snacks and watch a movie. Cause that's really what it's all about. It's autumn now, cozy vibes all around. <laughs> As you guys can see, Bronson also got the memo. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice to get out of the house, wasn't it, babe? It sure was. It was nice. It was, it was very busy though, I'm not gonna lie. I did get a bit of, quite a bit of sensory overload, a little bit of anxiety, but it is really nice to get out and see stuff and learn new things. May or may not have filmed a reel on the camera for Joshua's Instagram also. I'll link it down below if he's posted it by the time this vlog is up. Anyway, I'm gonna get up because if I don't, I will fall asleep, especially with this little nub nub. This little nub nub snowed up on me. Oh, he's a baby. Shall I put you on the bed? Thank you, bub. Oh, there's a new season. You wanna watch it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is a wonky ass camera, isn't it? If I ever did see one. Guys, it's about to be crazy hour, I can sense it. What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Oh! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> You know how much I love my 19 crimes, right? We read wine. Love it. It's Saturday night. We're gonna have a glass of vino. It's been a while. By the way, if you get the 19 crimes, the best one 
well, my favorite one is the Uprising. It's so good. I had to show you this because <laughs> I was surprised with this yesterday. How cool is that? I don't know how he did it, but he did it and it's, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I have my way. <laughs> I've only got little Prosecco champagne glasses at the moment, so don't, don't judge me, all right. Oh, I do love that sound. This is a proper treat. We don't even really drink anymore. Hello guys, it is the next day. I'm enjoying a makeup free day, which actually is most of the time now. I kind of feel weird when I put makeup on, like I don't recognize myself, which is so backwards to how I used to be. I'm not actually laying in bed all day. I've been working, but I just came down because I've got my little crochet by the bedside table. And I thought I'd just give you a little update because I realized I didn't show you guys. Oh, it doesn't look like anything on camera. Does that look like anything? There we go. So that is kind of what I've ended up with. <laughs> I've done it wrong, but I think the wool size is too skinny, like it's too small. So I kind of had to improvise, but I need to get that middle bit tight it needs to not be like a little hole in it so i'm gonna have to restart that i'm gonna blame that needle that i tried it was too small i think so i'll switch to a size up i really like these ones and i managed to properly get it going when you see me with headphone covers you'll know that i successfully managed to do it properly that is my little crochet update i was just thinking now that it is basically it's autumn summer is over kind of sad about it but low-key like kind of excited about cozy season which i hate to admit because i'm a summer girl through and through but now that we're heading into autumn and getting closer to october i've decided i'm gonna try and crochet like some cute little halloween stuff like little pumpkins and bats and stuff like that so i will keep you updated on that hopefully i actually do it i'm sure i will it's fine we're gonna do it we're gonna do it for the vlog maybe we'll do it for vlogtober who's here for vlogtober it's been a while since I've done it. Do I really want to put myself under that pressure? Maybe. I'm going to end the vlog here. I've just been editing the last of the footage. It just looks so good off of the Fujifilm. I can't believe how much time I've saved, like not having to color grade and do all the fancy stuff in post-production. The colors look insane. The quality is beautiful. Um, so like I said, I'm probably going to have to end up buying this camera. Anyway, I'm going to go. This vlog is long enough already. Let me know what you thought. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the footage as well, like if you like the look of it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy cozy season. Until next time. Mwah.